It's almost become quite a common thing, so I just tend to laugh it off. But actually, I shouldn't laugh it off because it's not OK. Discrimination hurts. I've personally experienced hate on social media and several forms of abuse. It's not nice, everyone knows that. I think we need to be responsible for what we put out and the consequences it can have on people. Most of my life I've kept quiet about racism because I just didn't want that hassle. Because it was just the norm. It was everyday life. Recently I came out of a shop and some person came past on a bike said go, go back to where you came from. And for me, I just laughed it off. Um, probably shouldn't have done, because it's not acceptable. No one should feel that it's OK. Although women's football has come a long way, sexism is still prevalent on social media and within spectators at women's football games. We're not just footballers, we're humans too. And we see the messages and we hear the spectators. And it's not fair when we put so much effort into the sport we love. Every match day during a season, if there's a pass that isn't completed, if there's a result that doesn't go to plan, a lot of abuse can land on social media channels. And I don't think people perhaps realise that there's a person behind those channels that has to sift through 200, 300 replies to a tweet, to an Instagram post, to a Facebook post. Here at AFC Bournemouth, our under 18 players have social media training and workshops. I feel it's important that they, they think before they type and the consequences that a message that goes out in the public domain may have. My son, who was only six after a rugby game, it was raining, we were running across the park, and another young lad, I think he must have been, well, eight, nine, started to do the monkey chants. Run monkey, run monkey. Wow. So at the football club we take thousands of calls and emails a day and sometimes it's really upsetting to see the abuse that is received. Before you abuse someone, please think twice before you say it. Before you go to social media, next time a player misses a shot, misplaces a pass, we don't get a good result. Just think, think about it and think about what happens when that person goes home and shuts that door behind them. Just think about your actions because your actions obviously or make other people, well, you don't really know, do you? We're all human and we make mistakes and it's important that we, you know, limit the amount of stuff that we put out on social media and try and encourage love and, and support for people when, when they might be in a bit of a vulnerable place. Racism and other forms of abuse happen all the time and it's just unacceptable. Think before you speak. We're all human beings. We're all fighting for the same goal. Whether it's online or in person, hate, hate and, and discrimination, discrimination isn't acceptable. Every member of the first team squad, everyone at AFC Bournemouth Women, are behind the Hate Hurts Everyone campaign. Hate hurts everyone. 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 Hate hurts everyone.